All right, it's your girl, Butterfly. We're at 999 Jane Street right now, just wrapping up uh, 2011 Jane's Walk. We started off at Shoreham Park, and it was filled with storytelling, street theater, entertainment, and we ended off here for a community barbecue. So we're going to talk to the people and see what popped off for the walk for 2011 uh, and get people's thoughts on how it went. Peace. So what's your name? My name is Suzanne Narain, and I live in the community. Um, living here my whole life and I'm also an educator now in the community. Awesome. And what did you think about 2011 Jane's Walk uh, that grassroots group uh, came together to mobilize around? I feel like it was really interesting and really inspiring to hear different people's stories about their community and just kind of sharing with people that haven't been in our community just different stories of struggle and different stories of strength and it was really it was a really good day. So did so you being here and living in the Jane and Finch community all your life did you find stuff useful or new to you that you never knew about Jane and Finch? Um, well, yeah, be, yeah, there was some some new things. I feel like I got to um, come down by Fir Grove where I don't really come down by so much because I'm usually down by Gosford a lot more. So just to come out here on this side is a different, it's a little bit of a different feel almost. Yeah. And were we able, like, Jane and Finch is known for more negativity than positive. So were uh, the organizers around the Jane's Walk, were they able to show the balance that there is celebration and victory in our community? Uh, I definitely think so. I definitely think that the people that weren't from Jane Finch that came here really got to um, share with us some of our stories and really got to like learn a lot. And even just like walking with different people and talking with them, I felt like they just wanted to know so much about our community because there were some people that taught at York who never left York. York and who came for the first time to uh, Jane and Finch and I feel like that was really powerful for them to just be here and I feel like a lot of people got to learn a lot about our community that they don't always see in the media. So for the people who couldn't make 2011 Jane's Walk, and it's, it's the name is Jane's Walk, it's not because it's in Jane and Finch, but it, that's next year we'll work on that. <laughs> but like for the people who miss Jane and Finch Jane's Walk, what would you say to them? Mm, I think that they missed out on, on learning a lot and on, on learning what CTV and CP24 will never tell you, right? You know, it's it's an opportunity to walk around this amazing neighborhood and see the smiles and people's faces and the children in the in the parks and you know and hearing the stories of the schools and the hospitals and uh, you know uh, what what's good and what's not so good. And uh, this year we were talking about life, youth, and justice, right? So so this is uh, our aspirations, and that's why so many grassroots. Uh, organizations come together and continue to build day after day trying to make this uh, even better place than it already is there's a lot of shortfallings but people stay positive so that's what it's all about I think that they missed out on that and they need to come here and uh, and take a look at what it is hopefully in the 2012 we'll do another walk around other great places I'm good my name is Yoda and how are you I'm good yeah it's a nice pretty day isn't it? yeah yeah and what are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. So, what was your favorite part of today? Um, me and my cousins playing games and just having so much fun. Yeah. So you had a good time. Yeah. Awesome. Any anything you want to say to the people who are gonna watch this later? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Next time. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well. So, what's your name and what do you do in the Jane and Finch community? My name is Andrea Bacco, and I'm a provincially funded youth outreach worker. I'm housed at PEACH, which stands for Promoting Education and Community Health. All right. And for this year's Jane Walk, is this the first Jane's Walk you've ever been in? No, this is the second one. Um, last year I did a Jane's Walk with another organization in Jane and Finch, and this year I'm at this Jane's Walk. I had a phenomenal time. It was um, very interesting, a lot of good points on the way that I really, really enjoyed. So um, in terms of Jane's Walk, what would you like to see happen next year since you've been to two? What would you like to see happen uh, in the future for Jane's Walk? I'd like to see a lot of the organizations collaborate and make one big Jane, Jane Walk instead of us being scattered across. <laughs> that would be <laughs> very beneficial. So I don't have to split me. Yes, I don't have to split myself into two and three people. But I think um, the turnout would be bigger, and um, we probably get to hit a few more spots. All right, so we're with the food posse right now, right? And you guys had a good time today. Yeah. yeah. I still never got my. And what's and what's your favorite to part of today? Dog. You still get your hot dog? Yes. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming though. Yeah. Even our beds are, are cold. Okay. Okay, I hear you. <laughs>
I hear you. So you guys are good? Yeah. Having a good time? So where are we? What community are we in in Jane Finn? Jane Finn. Jane Finn. The, 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 the best community. So what, what building is this? 2999. Nice. And what happened here a couple of weeks ago with all like the plants? Oh, they're, they're, they're making the, the building went green. Went green. Oh, yeah. went green. What does that mean? Oh. Like they're recycling and they're making stuff. <laughs> and also yeah. in the basement, yeah. we have this room now. It used to be an apartment for two cars. Yeah. It, there's now a place where we can put our garbage okay. that they can recycle. Oh, yes. So, how are you today? Fine. You were one of the speakers at the, at the Jane's Walk. Yes, it's a What's your name? beautiful opportunity. My name is Walter Poremski. I've been living in the neighborhood for 40 some years, and uh, I hope they won't close the hospital. And I'm fighting for it. And it's interesting that the more people I talk to, that the young folks that are born here are willing to fight for the hospital. So this has been an ongoing fight with saving our hospital. Um, where are we at with the hospital right now? What should the community know about it right now? Well, there's so many different announcements that have been made as far as the hospital moving and the hospital closing when the new one will come. And the letters they send around for collecting donations they announced that the hospital will move but the newspaper reports that the hospital will close and yet they also report that the new hospital the permission for the new hospital uh, to be built at a new site was only granted because they keep this hospital open now i don't believe that promises it's like uh, if you don't keep this promise we simply give you a new promise <laughs> Thanks so much for your thoughts today, Walter. And Walter was one of the speakers uh, for the hospital closure as well today. Thank you. Uh, so that's your 2011 uh, Jane's Walk here in the Jane and Finch community. Uh, it was put together by uh, quite a few grassroots groups, uh, Life Movement, janeandfinch.com, No Man's Land, Friends in Trouble, uh, Flip. I know I'm going to leave people out, so forgive me, but it really came together coming from the community, coming from the bottom up with some, with a lot of support from the organizations Jane and Finch Center, uh, Jane and Finch Community Family Center, and Black Creek Community Health Center. For JaneFinch.com. It's your girl, Butterfly. Peace. So, Driftwood Community Center hosts uh, an annual festival called the Multicultural Festival. I believe it's over 25 years this has been happening in our community, celebrating uh, the multiculturalism, the dance, the food, entertainment. Um, and yeah, it's an annual event. So it's really dope that it's been able to be around for more than 25 years. It partners up with uh, our local radio station. My mom said Rosemary came so should she come out or are you coming? Okay. You can <laughs> Jay said come in! <laughs> awesome. Uh, so our community has Locally, what we access are two community centers, Driftwood Community Center and then south of us, Oakdale Community Center. Um, within our community, the population that exists, these community centers cannot uh, resource the community and the access that we need. Um, so programs are usually really filled and now they're doing a lot of changes within accessing the programs, putting user fees. Um, so this is already isolating some of our community accessing this and adding prices and user fees we're going to see recreation and uh, programming start to cut within our community and the impacts of that, I think we can already predict. Yeah. Um, so we were going to talk about our state of our schools a little bit, but uh, Brookview is also one of the schools that was being looked at to house uh, the merging of students. So closing down Shoreham, they would all end up at Brookview. Um, there's also Jane and Finch Community Family Center right behind us. Uh, in a TCH building. Um, it started as a grassroots group uh, with residents at that table that envisioned the Jane and Finch Center and over 20 years after it's still here uh, existing as an organization in the community. Yeah, you're looking kind of scared. Hey, just stay, stay, stay calm, stay calm. You can't do nothing, you're okay.
You do nothing, you okay? You just do nothing? Where are you coming from? Your aunties? Why, why are you guys stopping? Oh We're not stopping, we're doing our jobs here. Yeah? Go to the bag. Go to the bag here. Why not? Let's see your bag here for a second. No, sir. Let's see your bag here for a second. Yeah? My bag, you can't. Okay, calm down. Hey, sir, can you calm down, please? <laughs> <laughs> sir, cooperate with me. Can you go away? Stop! 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 This is my bag. Put your hands on your head! Put your hands on your head! Get out! 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're not really the police. <laughs> just, just in case the real police didn't come. We're <laughs> what we're doing now is we're doing a little uh, thing called Forum Theatre, okay? So we've highlighted the situation. Uh, do any of you guys here think that that's real, that that's going on uh, in Toronto today? Yeah. Would anyone say, oh, was that real? Did we just make that up? Is that CSI stuff? Yeah, first of all, does anybody believe that? Anybody that? Do you believe that? Do we look up? Yeah. the shorts. <laughs> okay, well, uh, what's the story? What was going on? Did you guys see what happened? What? So, okay. So a guy in a backpack started getting angry. The police started getting angry. Why did the police start getting angry, do you think? He resisted. Didn't cooperate resisting? Okay. They got nothing else to do. Nothing else, nothing else to do. They were just chilling. Stuff like that. <laughs> they need more training? Okay, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. Because maybe they were suspecting him? So they were suspecting him, yeah. Do you guys think that he was treated fairly? No. No? no? He was profiled. Okay, what do you mean by profile, Julian? <laughs> you asked ask him if his name was Mohammed? What's that? Why did you ask him if his name was Mohammed? Yeah. Oh, did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's profiling going on, so says your name Mohammed kind of thing. So there's racism that's going on there as well. Um, okay, like I said, this is a reality for lots of people, not just in Jane and Finch, but throughout the, the GTA as well. So what we're going to try and do now, uh, a little bit of a rights exercise, it's called Forum Theatre. So we're going to play that situation out again, okay? Well, first of all, we need to ask who you guys feel sorry for the most. So, does anybody feel sorry for me? No. No. Right. Anybody feel sorry for Kobe here? No. No. Uh, Officer Simpson here? No. No. Anybody feel sorry for Abdi? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Abby gets the most sympathy, okay? So what we try and do, it's called theater of the oppressed. So whenever we see oppression, we try and work with the per uh, person. Like, why wouldn't you come together and say, okay, let's all put together and fix this at a time, or fix these little areas, rather than de I mean, depending on... Yeah. Yeah, There's well, a the legitimate way to do that, and that is through common taxes, common property taxes. Yes, That's how we've done it for 150 done. years. When, when and they just, me, it's they just shut it down. Yeah, that's right. Now, better yet, why don't we attack the provincial government and get them to start spending the money they should be spending on schools? Yes, that's it. And a that's the where it should plan, go. It shouldn't. It shouldn't happens. come out of the pocket directly out of the pocket of this community. It should come out of the pocket of the whole community. That's where it should come. That would make sense if they transfer ownership of the school to the community. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where, that and that's where I was going to go with it. Now, since you guys are together as a group, and you see that the government is not on your side. But you want this to stay. Why don't you show the government that you're better than them? And we are. And that's the, there that's you go. the, that's the step. And that's the bottom line. I'm with you. Thanks. But that's also to accept a lack of political representation and also saying to a marginalized community with limited resources that they need to foot the bill of things that their government, it doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't happen in other communities I'm and that's important to kind of raise as yes, well. Yes, I do understand that. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, you're, like you come together for tragedies. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're this, right. is, this is something that, it is a tragedy if you let the kids suffer. Like it's a futuristic tragedy right happening right now. So why would you just use some of that force? Well, Believe me, it's, it's easy to be, as he said, harder to be done, but it's developing. And that's the joy of this community, is watch the development. Okay. Yeah. Shall we move to the next yeah, so part, of the plan, part of the plan for this community was right now having a hotel. For what? For a tennis tournament that happens for two weeks a year, right? To host people to come here, right? And they, you know, the way they would pitch it was there, there'll be a, for example, a school of uh, culinary arts. Right, and so on. Oh, I so, killed that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
So, so th this is a sort of, of trade-off, right? To close a school where 300 children come, right? And build a whole town for that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I do like how you guys come together for that. So. That's right.